In this clip, we will be learning about the enhancements to the auto surface command in this version of the application. We will be going through five different steps. The first is fixing erroneous curve networks. The second is examining the split and deform functions. The third is looking at the slide function. The fourth is using the sharp edge function. And the fifth and final step is the show or hide option. First, click the auto surfacing button. There are two types of auto surfacing methods available, the evenly distributed network method and the feature following network method. The success ratio for boundaries around thin and long patches has been increased in this version of the application. Select the feature following network method. This will create a curved network based on the feature shapes of the model. The erroneous patches of the model can be viewed by clicking the next and previous buttons. In this example, there are two erroneous patches. This first patch is reported as erroneous because it creates a sharp edge and one of the edges curves too much. This can be resolved by clicking and dragging the connecting node to create a proper shape. Even though it did not register as an erroneous patch, you can also reshape the connecting patch. The next erroneous patch contains an edge that is too curved and does not create a sharp enough angle. It should be adjusted to make two distinct edges. The application shows erroneous curves in real time. So if any erroneous curves are created while attempting to fix existing erroneous curves, then you can see it as it is happening. Now we will look at the deform and split functions. Like in previous versions of the application, the different methods for altering a curved network can be accessed with radio buttons in the methods list. Hotkeys are now available for commonly used functions to reduce the amount of time needed to create curved networks. However, new to this version of the application is the pop-up menu. Right-clicking on a region will open up a convenient menu of available commands. This makes enhancing a curved network quicker than ever. To split a region, select the split command and select an existing node or edge. Connect it to another node or edge to split and create a new region. To deform a region, select an existing node or curve and drag it while holding down the left mouse button. Let go of the mouse button to stop deforming. Also new to this version is the slide method. It is renamed from the former detach and move command. The slide command is useful for creating uniformly shaped regions by clicking and dragging an edge to a desired location. The define sharp edges command is good for informing the application where sharp creases need to exist. This is helpful for models that have sharp features that need to be retained in the final generated CAD file. To define a sharp edge, simply select all desired edges. This version of the application also introduces commands to show or hide different entities. The sharp edges that were just created can be easily shown or hidden by clicking the Show Define Sharp Edges radio box in the options. The Show Nodes and T-Junctions command makes the visualization of nodes and T-Junctions quick and easy. If you look at the model with the Accuracy Analyzer function, you can see that the results are very good. With the improved Auto Surfacing command, scan data can be converted into solid models quickly and accurately.